Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, before I begin this exhortation, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to the true, holy, and powerful names of the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son, the Most High Power of Israel, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. Our real name in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahakwadash. All right, Yahweh being the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world just calls God, which is God is a title. All right, real name is Yahweh, meaning He is or He is to be. Baha Shem is in the name of Ba is in Ha is the Shem name. All right, uh, Yahweh Shai, whom the world called Jesus Christ. Real name is Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew, meaning He is salvation, He is the deliverer. All right, names in the ancient world were um, nomen omens, um, meaning name prediction, okay, to predict what you would do uh, throughout your lifetime, okay. Uh, Baha Shem or Baha Racha Kodash, Ba is in. Ha is the Rechak without the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind this ministry. All right. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. The true apostles of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Apostle mean to be sent away. All right. So these are the true men that were sent into the world. All right. To give us, of the whole for the elect, this 100% truth. All right. 100% of what we need to obtain salvation on this side. Right, not meaning that we know every single thing there there is to know. All right. Um, peace and salutations to you, hopeful uh, elect Akim that's out there teaching his word in all truth, faith, sincerity, and fear of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. All right. Uh, and and uh, and also you feel a uh, sincere aqua for our sisters that come across this video. Shalom. All right. Um, I just want to go in real. Oh, Salakia. I just want to go in real quick on this Luke 9, all right, beginning at verse 23, all right, these are the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai, all right, and, um, you know, I was just meditating upon it, and I'm just going to go in, this is Luke 9 and 23, and he said unto them all, if any man come, will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross daily, and follow me, okay, now, the scriptures do say, it says in Sirach, or Ecclesiastic is the second chapter, when you come to the Most High, prepare thy soul for temptations, which that word temptation goes into trials and tests. So there's a series of ongoing things that you're going to constantly go through within this ministry, within this truth, all right? Where there's body ailments, um, uh, uh, persecution in the world, hatred of the world, um, you know, yeah, you know. You, you name it. Just look at Job for an example of the different things that he had to undergo. All right, and each brother that's in this truth, we got our own individual plight uh, uh, to go through, you know, within this ministry. But within it, within this hell, all right, uh, 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 we have hope in Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, we have this wisdom and knowledge that that, that keeps us stable, okay, within the midst of this, this, this hell hole that we live in, man. Not, you know, not just the, the world itself, you know, being under Esau, Edom, being under our enemies, chiefly Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, okay, in this fucked up world, but also in these fucked up bodies, man, okay, subject to decay and, you know, malfunctions and, and whatnot, and we yearn to be, you know, uh, uh, changed, man, we learn, we yearn for change in the world, in the earth. And, and, and change within ourselves, man, for the law, statutes, and commandments to be written within our inward parts so we won't never go off, man, you know? Therefore, we'll never die because sin equals death. But anyway, let's read that again, uh, Luke 9 and 23. And, and he said unto them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, okay? Let's start there. Let him deny himself. When you go into this word deny, <laughs> all right? Was well, actually gonna pull up the phrase, you know, let him deny. Strong's G five thirty three, aparneamai, aparneamai. All right, and it says uh, to deny. It says to affirm that one has no acquaintance or connections with something. All right, and that acquaintance or connection with something would be us joined to this wicked society. Okay. We ought not have any sort of connection to this place other than we here and we got to, you know, get our daily bread or whatever, you know, or, or, or 
you know, being subject to payments, being in debt like everybody else. Okay. Other than that, scriptures say we we are in the world, but we not of the world. Okay. Meaning we we do what we got to do on a daily basis. All right. We go to work, we take care of our children, you know, and whatever else we need to do. And, and, and but we not of the world. We not in the mind frame of, you know, the uh, do it thou wilt spirit of this world. All right. Having no fear or reverence to a higher power, the higher power, Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, living recklessly, doing, doing whatever feels right to ourselves, obeying our beastly nature. Okay. That's the way of the West. Okay. The way of Esau Edom, self proclaimed white man. And not only the West, but, you know, primarily the West, let's say that. Okay. Because this place is the most wicked place that, it, that there is, man. Okay. In our mentality, we can't be tied into this Western way of thinking okay you even got jake that's in the truth that's tied into it man can't understand certain simple things as as the grape the grape doctrine okay or the, uh, or the understanding on on that within the scriptures okay they can't understand that you know you know dealing with younger you know women you know was it was a thing in the ancient world man you know it's simple things man you know some somebody um Different, different laws, you know. Jake here in today's time, of course, it's going to sound far-fetched, you know. The, 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 the amount of killing and death that, you know, the Lord would allow or say to have happen in the ancient world. Jake could hear that now and be like, man, the, 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 God, the Bible just crazy, man, ruthless, and, you know. But they, 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 they speak evil of things they understand not, you know. That, but that's all due to this westernized mind frame, man. OK, we're we're the scriptures say we're called to rehearse the righteous acts, man. OK, so therefore we got to reflect on the old past. OK, matter of fact, the scripture it just comes to mind. I don't know the whole scripture, but. I just. Let me see. Just real quick, bring this out. You should take it there. All right, this is Jeremiah 6 and 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord power, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Okay, the old paths, man. The, the, you know, the ancient way of Israel, how we used to do things, man. All right? Not this not this modern day bullshit of the West, man. This shit will corrupt you. That's why it says in Micah chapter 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. For it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Okay, so if you're engulfed in this place, all right, you're, 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 you're pretty much engulfed in wickedness, man. All right, you'll even get, you know, if you if you obtain to the highest level of wickedness, okay, you you can be a, a celebrity in this society. All right, you can have whatever you want to. You know, if you compromise your moral integrity and just be a demon and, and allow demons to be on you, you know, See, that, that it goes to show you, man. Anyway, it says, ask for the old paths. Where is where is the good way? All right? And walk therein. You see? And that's what we're doing, man. We're walking in a good path, man. The path that, uh, the ancient path that was already set. All right? The foundation of faith. When you read, you know, certain men like, like Abraham, for example, you know, how he walked in faith and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Okay, we, we we look at that as an example for us today. Scripture say that all scripture was written for our learning. Okay, so we learn from certain men, uh, forefathers of the past, and how they operated, how they showed fear and reverence to the Most High and His laws. All right, and the Lord uh, uh, vindicated them in miraculous ways, man. They seen His salvation. You see, and that's what we what we need in these days and times, man. Coming into the time we are coming into Jacob's trouble, it's gonna be all out hell. Hell, you know, and the only way to escape that hell, all right, is through Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, that hedge, man. Okay, we desperately need a hedge. How, how, how in the fuck, excuse my French, you know, but how, how, how we gonna, you know, possibly overcome what's coming, man? You know, not even those as well prepped and got stockpiles of, of food and built, you know, pantries and underground and shit. They ain't gonna, that ain't going to save them. 
It may save them for a time, you know. But then this place is gonna get hit hit with nukes, you know. Say you say you survive up to the point where nukes drop, then what? You know, you're still gonna be destroyed anyway. So we rehearsing the righteous acts. It says, and ye shall find rest for your souls. You see, this is the rest. This truth is the is our rest, man. You know, Jake been all weary, you know, in in his in his land for so long, you know, and you and we still see it on on the majority of our people, man. You know how they just still in in a dead state of mind, man. They still dry, you know, with no nourishment spiritually, you know, with no moisture, you know, rest. Jake Jake just here through, okay. But us that are hopeful the elect that that. The Lord hath, you know, given up his Holy Spirit. You know, we we have rest for our souls, man. You know, it says, but they said we will not walk therein. You know, speaking of, um, you know, two thirds of our people, man. You know, they, they said it. They, don't, they ain't going to walk in the, in the path in the old ways. And, you know, so, yeah, man, hey, to them is going to be a detriment. To us is going to be salvation. But anyway, back here in the, his word deny. So like if I got too far off, you know, but, but yeah, man, we got to, we got to deny the way of the West I may just title it that, but it says to forgive one's to forget oneself, one's self, uh, lose sight of oneself and one's own interests, interests. Okay. Right. Scripture say, um, what does scripture say? Um, You know, you deny, you know, to deny your own interests. Dang, it's the scripture. So like it was just on my, it was just my mind escaping. But pretty much, man, you know, we we can't be um, self selfish, man. You know, thinking about ourselves, man. We got to think about forwarding uh, uh, the agenda of Yahweh by Shemiah All right. In the earth, not just being doing what we want to do in the earth, man. You see, matter of fact, it's, it's the scripture that say we have been given this liberty. Let me see. Let me just get it. I feel like if I'm all over the place, man, you know. Um, uh, I'm going to say this liberty. I know it's in Galatians. Yeah. Uh, let's see. All right. Galatians 5 and 1. Uh that ain't, that ain't the one I'm looking for. She like it. But you know, that's that's good too. But let me just, let me see. I think it's Galatians 5 and 17. Bear with me. <clears throat> or is it Ephesians? You know what? Yeah, let's just read this too. This good. Galatians 5 and 16. It says, This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right? You know, because all this society does is promote uh lust. You know, your various lusts, whatever it may be. You know, whether it's sexual, whether it's, you know, uh, uh drugs, whether it's, you know, pride and fame, you know. It, you 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 it, that's all this place promotes, man. You know, but when you walk in the spirit, you won't fulfill those lusts, man. And that's the reason why we ask the Lord to put his Holy Spirit upon us that we can actually maneuver in this place, man, and not get caught up in the in the various things that we see, you know, not be moved by everything. All right. When you're not walking in the spirit, everything flirts with you. You know, everything moves you. All right. As, as uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the great boxing trainer Teddy Atlas uh, be saying. You know, he 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 go with the little little phrases. I kind of just you know, uh, uh uh put a little bit of his his spirit into it. But yeah, you know, yeah, that's but that's the case though, man. The spirit a lot puts that hedge on us, man, in this dark, evil world, man. That's why the scriptures say, "Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me." Okay. That's because they, the spirit provides a hedge. But without that hedge, uh, 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 you'll, you will be in fear. 
and right here in this valley of the shadow of death here in America. Because death is at all, all around us, man. You know, at every turn. You see? Continuing on, verse 17, it says, For the lust of the flesh, lust, for, it's like it, for the flesh lusts up against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary one to another, that you cannot, contrary one to another, so that you cannot do the things that you would. Right, man? So it's a constant battle between the flesh and the spirit. Okay? You see, the, the every day. That's why Yahweh Shah said, deny yourself and take up your cross daily and follow him because it's a daily thing, man. Every day you wake up, you're, you're flesh and, you know, you got things that, you're, that you want to do. But uh, I was watching a video from the elder out there in Dallas. Um, you know, he was saying, you know, start your day off with a prayer, you know. You see, it's another scripture that say, um, he that seeketh me early shall find me. Or you seek him early, you shall have no swords to avail. I'm roughly paraphrasing that. I can get it, but, you know, yeah, you know. You could say pray without season, man. So we got we to gotta be instant in prayer. So, uh, uh, but yeah, man, you know, and, and these demons too, you know, they, they try to cater to the flesh. Okay. And try to, you know, that's, that's what they're about. But verse 18, it says, But if you be led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. All right? So let's go back here. All right. Let me go in deeper into this uh, definition. Deny. Strong's G720. Arneamai. Arneamai. It says to disregard his own interests or to prove false to himself. Pretty self-explanatory, man. Deny your own interests, you know. It's a scripture that say, uh, he that resists the pleasures, crown of his life. You know, I believe that's in the Apocrypha. Let me just see. Uh, yep, Ecclesiasticus 19 and 5, it says, Whoso take of pleasure in wickedness shall be condemned, all right? And that's the majority of the world, okay? The, the majority of the inhabitants here, uh, uh, primarily here in uh, Babylon, in America, Okay, they take pleasure in wickedness and they have condemned themselves. All right, and all we all they're doing is waiting for judgment at this point, man. You know, they don't even know it, but you know, it's coming. All right, we we everything's finna melt. Every everything's finna hit the fan. You know, all our destruction is set to take place. And these people is just joking around, playing, acting like everything's sweet, man. It says, but he that resists the pleasures crown of his life, right? So that's us of this truth, man. We're not partaking in all the pleasures of Babylon, okay? Moses even did it, you know? When he was um, a, a son of, you know, being called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, you know, he was heir to the throne. You know, Pharaoh Pharaoh uh, uh, took pleasure in him, you know, and was going to uh, promote him, you know, to the highest position, okay? But he said, um, the scripture said he denied the pleasures of sin for a season, you know, to suffer uh, uh, with his people, roughly paraphrasing, okay? So that's the mind frame that we're in, man, okay? When we came to this truth, we had aspirations of this world and whatnot, different things we wanted to do, all right? But we denied it, okay, that in hopes to uh, obtain a greater, you know, in the kingdom to come. That's what we're fighting for, man, okay? We ain't just in it just just because, man. I know I know for myself, man, and, hey, I know the Lord uh, uh, brought me into this thing. You know, and I pray that he keep me in this thing, you know. Because just like that, you could you could be you could be taken out, man. The spirit can be uh, uh taken away, you know. So it's about sincerity, all right, humbleness. All right. It says, um, he he but he that resists the pleasure, crown of his life, man. And we want that, we want that crown, man, of righteousness, man, to be placed upon our head. When you hear those words. Thou good and faithful servant, enter into uh, 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 thy rest, you know? 
So let me go back here. Um, it says, uh, let me see what it says right here. Not to accept, to reject, to refuse something offered. Okay, and that's this world. Refuse this world. You know? And so like, I know I kind of went in on this definition. Um, but yeah. So Luke 9 and uh, 23. And he said unto them all, if any will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. That cross goes into the various uh, persecutions, man, you know, that we have to bear daily. All right. It says, verse 24, for whosoever will save his life will uh, shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall shall save it. Right. So if you're trying to save your life, you know, even even now, but particularly in a time to come when that when that C, C hip is being offered. All right. That digital, uh, 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 uh you know, branding that they want to put underneath your skin, the M-A-R-K of the beast spoken of in Revelation 13 chapter, in which you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you have it. All right. That, that the hour of temptation, as the scriptures uh, say, you know, you're going to have a lot of people trying to save their life and they're going to take it. They, they didn't got hooked on that Babylon juice, you know, that wine. All right. And they, and they, you know, they, they didn't got fat in this, in this, uh, in his in his wicked land, all right, and satisfied, and they don't want to they don't want to lose their little precious uh, uh things, man. Okay, but you have to be in the mindset of a pilgrim in this in this society. You see, scriptures say, I believe it's in there. Please ask. I mean, Second Ezra, it's the sixteenth chapter. Okay, it says even in those evils, be as pilgrims upon earth. All right, like the movie the Book of Eli. All right, you know, a pil a pilgrim it, it pretty much goes into a wanderer for a religious purpose, you know, waiting on a miracle. All right. And, and, and yeah, that's, that's definitely going to be the case in, in the times we're coming into, man. We're going to need a miracle, man. Miracles, plural. Let me say it like that because it's going to be a lot of different things we're going to have to be delivered from, man. You know? So, so this, this, this ain't no light thing, man. This ain't no joke. All right. This is deadly serious, man. Passover coming up. Passover is deadly serious, man. It ain't just no lamb dinner, man. It ain't nothing to fucking joke about and play about. Okay? I know, I know personally. I ain't gotta go deep into it, but I know for a fact, all right, that that <laughs> Passover is deadly serious, man. And I pray to you how about me outside, man, that um I I myself be prepared for this upcoming Passover, man. All right. So yeah. Um that's pretty much it, you know, for the lesson. All right. I know I, I probably went off a little bit, you know, I tend, I, I do that sometimes, you know, lose the side of the subject and probably, but I pray that it, it was edifying though, nonetheless, you know, and it made sense to you all for the lack All right. We almost out of here. All right. And we got to, but we got to brace for the impact, you know, of the hell to come. Cause first, you know, got to be hell before it's, uh, heaven. All right. You know, the kingdom of heaven. But uh hopefully uh, you know, this was edifying to the next month I say shalom.